Hi, I'm Michel Lavillère, sales engineer at OpenGear. Today we will speak about our environmental monitoring with our EMD sensors, part of the OpenGear out of band solution. Environmental monitoring is essential to ensure business continuity even more for remote sites without presence. Knowing temperature humidity level with history graph, be warned if a trestle is switched, a door open, receive alarms in case of fire or water leak. This will help you to know what is going on on your remote sites and act promptly in case of environmental problem. Environmental monitoring provides you some advantages like to be warned by alarms in case of problem, a very fast responsiveness using automation. You don't rely on other service departments to get the info when you need it. It uses the same out of band infrastructure to open remote serial session of IP for management, so it is simple and easy to put in place. About cabling. The EMD5000 is connected to one of the serial ports of the OpenGear console server using a straight Cat5 cable, max 10 meters, and a provided adapter. The EMD5000 already provides temperature and humidity, then you can add up to two other sensors using DIO ports. You can find here range and accuracy of the EMD5000, as well as the list of open gear sensors to connect to the DIO ports of the EMD5000. Smoke detector, door contacts, vibration sensor, water leaks, and other sensors compatible with 20 mA 5V. The EMD5000 cannot drive relay. Because of pinout differences between open gear products, we can have one or two DIO sensors per EMD5000. Open gear console servers with X2 pinout can only have one DIO sensor per EMD5000. Open gear console server with X1 pinout can have two DIO sensors per EMD5000. In my demonstration, I will use the EMD5000 1 with a smoke detector on DIO1 and a door contact sensor on DIO2. I will then connect the EMD to the port 15 of my IM7216 using a straight Cat5 cable, max 10 meters or 33 feet. First, I will open a session as root and I will configure the serial port 15 to put the EMD. So the EMD is already connected to my IM. I will just define the name. Then I will define the pinout. I will put X1 to be able to use two DIOs. If I let X2, I will be able to use only one DIO. And then I will define the type. It is environmental. Then I apply. At this time, the green LED on the EMD should turn on. Let's go to the environmental page and add the new EMD on port 15. I will call it EMD 15 on port 15. I can adjust the temperature and the humidity by putting an offset and I can put a label for DIO1 and 2. DIO1 is a smoke detector and DIO2 is a door sensor. I will then log the status and put 10 minutes between templates. Then apply and we can check the values in environmental status. Now we can see the values for temperature, humidity and the state of the DIOs. So the smoke detector is open and the door contact is closed, so the door is closed. Now I can open the door. I refresh and now I see the door contact open. I can see the logs of the EMD15 with a graph with the humidity and the temperature and the logs. Now we will see how to set up an alarm in case of a temperature threshold reached, for example. So we, we will go to the auto response page. Auto response is our automation feature. I will add a new line. Temperature high, for example, for the name. And it will be about environmental temperature on port 15 for a temperature of 28 above the trigger value and we can specify any hysteresis factor that is to be applied to environmental measurement for example if an auto response was set up with a trigger event of a temperature reading above 28 degrees with a hysteresis of 4 then the trigger condition would not be seen as being resolved till the temperature reading was below 24 degrees 
Now we have to create action. So when the result will be reached, we will send an email. Email temperature. Of course, the SMTP settings has to be done to be able to send emails. To finish the video, I have done a new auto response configuration to be alarmed when the door on the rack 3 is open or closed. So right now the door is closed. We see the status as normal. I will open the door. So now if we refresh, we will see that uh, the status is triggered and I will get an email. So the door is open. I will now close the door. So the status is now normal. And again, I will be warned. So the door is closed. Thank you for attending this video.